Hey and well met friends, Anding here for a quick update on uh, some things that people have been asking for. I have been asked several times to show my uh, cosmetics that I am wearing, so here we go. Um, I'm not used to doing this kind of stuff, so bear with me. But uh, first of all, we have the Steel Helm of the Great Shore, which if we go over to cosmetics, you can see it. There, it's a nice uh, gold helmet. If we zoom into head, you can get a closer look at it. And then we also have Paldrons of the Valley, Valleys, rather, not Valley. Um, we also have Belfalis Cloak of Might for the cape. And it's a very nice uh, looking Gondorian uh, sea cape. And then for our breastplate, we have the Breastplate of the Great Shore. And we also have Gauntlets of the Great Shore, so that's kind of the uh, blue and gold theme. And if you look on uh, the chest here, it's got some nice gold outlines that match really well with that kind of stuff. Um, I wish that the uh, pants were a little different because they're kind of ugly, <laughs> to be quite honest. For some reason they used brown as the color there, I don't know, I, I've been meaning to dye them or something. But uh, they're pretty good, and they're called the Steel Leggings of the Great Shore. And then you have the Steel Boots of the Great Shore. So that's kind of the cosmetics there. I really like this crossbow, I'm so glad that they made it to where champions can have crossbows. That is fantastic. And so now, if we go over into our traits this is something that uh, people have been asking about for me to show so let's go into it I've invested in everything fully except for athletic which just makes you run your run skill have a cooldown hamstring because well yes if you do update it to rank 5 you do get a nice knockdown at the end I don't feel it's worth the investment in that skill especially when you have another interrupt skill you don't need uh, this necessarily anymore but uh, also ebbing ire which reduces the uh, threat generated by the champion not really needed by me might be needed by some people depending on how much grouping you're doing and stuff like that but I am running red line and have invested everything there also invested into yellow line I uh, got a little bit into the first one I really like the extra might that helps out with your damage obviously and also blade skill damage is nice as well. Um, blade wall is nice to have a little bit of an upgrade. This is a fairly big thing though. Broad sweep uh, makes swift strike become swift blade and increases the number of targets that you can use on it. And then also raging blade is pretty nice. It's a nice AOE attack that I use quite often actually in my series. It's nice to be in yellow line a bit just to get those extra uh, AOE skills while you still have all the single target DPS of red line. So I think that this works out pretty well. I still have more points that I can be investing uh, later on once I continue to unlock stuff by doing the epic battles and also finishing a few more uh, trait things and I think there's another class point that I still haven't got yet in this area. So. Once I do that, I should possibly be able to make it to the third tier here. Um, let me actually see here. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I'm actually one point away from being able to go to the third tier. So yeah, I'd, I can probably get a little bit into the third tier. So that's pretty good. And as the levels continue to increase later, uh, well, actually, now that's not till next year, um, that'll be nice to have the uh, increase in number of traits and things you can use. So that's kind of the build that I'm doing right now. I think that if you wanted to go into Martial Champion with mostly Redline and then go in there, it would work pretty well as well. It just depends on if you want more survivability or if you want more damage, especially for multiple targets. So anyway, that's kind of uh, what's been going on. Oh, Steam screenshots. Um, it's very dark and dreary here, but uh, that's kind of my cosmetics and also my traits. So thank you guys for asking that in the comments. And if you'd like to ask for some other video that you'd like to see me do,
feel free to ask in the comments. I'm always up to suggestions and uh, want to provide things that people want to watch. So feel free to suggest away in the comments below. But anyway, till next time, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again real soon.